Well, coming into Saturday at IG Field, we already knew Edmonton's season was over. They've been eliminated. We knew that Winnipeg had locked up top spot in the West for that West final here at IG Field. But we got a pretty entertaining game between these two clubs with a couple of milestones for some Canadians. Absolutely, and checked off a lot of boxes tonight. And it was in good fashion, too, with the football team that seems to understand it, let their players play and know how to get them the football and distribute it extremely well. Buck Pierce was all over it early and often with this young man, Brady Oliveira, and that offensive line didn't disappoint. This was eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Just pick a hole to run through and score. And that's exactly what Brady does here. And uh, it was just make, it was incredible because the blocking up front, the, the add-ins coming for off the edge and securing the corner and kicking out blocks was impeccable. This football team continues to fine-tune their run game, which we know is going to be extremely important. And certainly, um, along with that run game, Oliveira getting his, Nick Debsky went and got his on a play that was specifically designed for him several times. Uh, a little touch pass out in front, went and got an easy one there. Nick Dembski and Brady Oliveira doing something that no Canadians have ever done before in the Canadian Football League. Thousand yards rushing, thousand yards receiving. That's a pretty special moment. Yeah, and Dembski got banged up a little bit in the first half, but finished this football game at least until they got that thousand yard season. Big got a little bit of rest, too, and yeah. he was very happy because he got to chat with John Liu after the game. Nick, we're going to start by talking about history. You and your teammate Brady, uh, the first Canadian tandem receiving and rushing to hit the 1,000-yard mark. What does it mean to have this milestone with a fellow Winnipegger being able to achieve it this way? No doubt. I mean, yeah, both of us being fellow Winnipeggers, you know, coming from, you know, similar backgrounds and everything. I mean, I think it means, you know, the most of the city, honestly. You know, Brady and I were talking about it a little bit, of course, but... You know, to come out here and actually do it and, and, and do it in our hometown and, and do it wearing this blue and gold, I mean, you know, it, it means the most. So I'm thankful for the opportunities for sure. Is Oak Park High School going to have to put up a new and different plaque for this? <laughs> hey, we'll see. Uh, you know, the, the, the ball's in their court for that one. So, you know, pressure's on. Brady, you came to work today already having clinched first place. How important was it to still set a tone? Use this as like a playoff tune-up tonight. For sure. I mean, you know what? Any, any chance to come out here and, and, and play football, you know, compete, you know, get in a rhythm, especially going into playoffs at, at this time of the season, I mean, you know, you, you, you got to make the most of every opportunity. So, uh, you know, it didn't matter if we clinched. We wanted to still come out here, play good football. Um, you know, obviously there's still some stuff we've got to tune up, but you know what? We, we, we have some time to do that now. Since we were talking about Winnipeg earlier, would you like to shout out the crowd? Uh, fourth straight sellout, and they brought it, even though, again, this game had no bearing in the standings. Of course, man. I mean, you know what? They, they show so much support. Um, you know, I know how much this team means to Winnipeg, especially just being from here and talking with the community, talking to my, my friends and all that family. So, you know, huge shout out to, to 204, the, the Winnipeg fans, and, uh, you know, just keep coming. We'll see you at the West Finals. Thank you for this, Nick. Appreciate it. Offensively, this team has been excellent all season long. Defensively, it's kind of been up and down compared to the last couple of years, but they made some plays on the defensive side of the ball here tonight. Yeah, they don't give up 20 points on average a game. That's yeah. pretty good. And um, they seem like they dial it up whenever they want to, and they did that tonight. A couple times they got burnt because, hey, Edmonton's fighting back too, and they get paid to play the game as well. And here, one of their main focuses was to make that young man stay in the pocket. And this time, Jackson Jeffcoat knocked it out into Adam Big Hill's hands, and the rest is history. And then, what a stop there. Adam Big Hill, that was fun to watch um, as they were going at it all night long. And then here, little Winston Rose just got burnt to get him down to that area, and he said, no, knocking on the door, I'm going to shut you down. And then Evan gets home on this, on this one, and... Uh, Absolutely love that kid and what he brings to the table on the back end there. And, uh, you know, this guy stepping up, making plays. You heard Nick there talk about it. Uh, hey, you know, we got some things to shore up, but they checked off a lot of boxes today and uh, in good fashion in front of a sold-out crowd. So big day here at IG Field in Winnipeg Blue Armors. Evan gets home was good. Yeah. That was good. Uh, I'm uh, jealous uh, of that uh, one. That uh. was good. Edmonton season comes to a close. Back-to-back four-win years. Positive to step forward, you think, next year finally? Oh, I think so. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure Rick Lawlisher will be with the football team, but I know that he settled them down already the second half of the football season from top to bottom in that organization. And Jonesy seems like he's gotten uh, a few things settled on the football field, continues to tinker with his lineup as he does. He does it better than most. Uh, two disappointed seasons back-to-back, 4-14. -back, so changes are going to be in the air. Not sure what's going to go down there, but... Uh, 
uh, gave that football team some hope with some uh, good product and uh, players on the football field towards the end of the season, that's for sure. 45-25, the uh, final here tonight. Winnipeg will head to Calgary and then, of course, be ready to host with that defense the West Final at IG Field.